Hi, this is Dreema, and this is part two of our 21 card past, present, and future tarot reading for a client. Um, we're about halfway through, a little more than that, and we're actually working on the present. We have two more left for the present. We're going to go ahead and do those now with the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So what this tells me is that What's going on in your life right now, um, this card is about work, okay? Hard work, okay? Doesn't necessarily mean physical work, but what I'm getting is that there may be, there's something going on in your life right now, and it is a lot of work, and I think it all pertains back to, to this, and it looks like there was some sort of news recently, and um, there's an alliance going on, but it looks like you do have some hope. And you're a very strong person. It looks like you're trying to break through some of those chains that, that have tied you down um, in the past where you've had some problems, okay? And what this tells me is in the present, what you're doing right now is a lot of work, okay? It's something that's not easy. Um, this person is very tired. So what that tells me is that there are times when you, you know, get very fatigued and frustrated because of what is going on in your life. Um, but it is a lot of work. Now, the Eight of Swords is interesting because um, this person is surrounded by swords and they wear a blindfold. So what that tells me is that there are times right now that you almost feel trapped, okay? Um, as if you're in a cycle that you just can't seem to get out of, okay? Surrounded by the swords. Um, the blindfold kind of tells me that you need to be very careful because there is a possibility that you could revert back to the old ways of hiding things and trying to make everyone else believe that everything's okay when it's not. Okay, lastly, we're going to move to the future. And we have the Emperor and the Ten of Cups. Now, this is interesting as it pertains to the future. The Emperor is a very strong card. Um, you know, it's a card basically about power and strength and things like that. Um, it's also about stability. Um, so what that tells me is in your future, things will stabilize for you, okay? Um, the cycle in the past will stop and things will generally get better. The Ten of Cups, this is a, a very good card. This is a card about happiness and gifts and as you can see, they're, they're cups in the air. It's a very good card. Um, it's a very positive card, I guess, is really the way I know how to put it. Um, it, it also, I'm not sure if you'll notice, but there are two people and some children in the card. And to me, this is about, um, you know, almost perfection. A, a person who has taken charge of their life. Because I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a hand and it's kind of holding up, you know, all these cups. Someone that is in complete control of their life. And actually, it's a very, very good card. Um, you know, it, it's good to the, the expect that, you know, it looks as though everything that you want will eventually come to you. Okay. Next, we have the King of Rods. And the hair fat. Okay, let's talk about the King of Rods first. Now, this again is, is a very powerful card. Okay, and what I'm getting from this card, I'm not sure if you can see, but he's holding one rod. Okay, and what this tells me is that um, this card is almost, it's a very powerful card. And, and above his head, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a lion. So, this, again, only reinforces what I've said before of the first two cards, that in your future, what I see is that you will have a lot of control over your life. You will control your own path and your own destiny. You have the strength of a lion, okay? And then we have the hair fat. Now, this is kind of interesting as it, you know, pertains to the uh, future, okay? This, to me, is about an alliance, okay? And again back to this. There's someone in your life that you um, have developed an alliance with. This alliance will strengthen in the future. This person may be a lover, uh, it may be a marriage or something, but it is going to be a very good partnership, okay? Um, 
And that the reason I say that is because actually it's starting now in the present. But this person will make a very good partner for you. Okay? They will add, only add to everything that you've worked very hard to do. Okay? And then we have the Queen of Cups. And the Ace of Rods. Okay. Now let's talk about the Queen first. Now, again, this is a very powerful card. So, in the future, you know, what, I, what I'm getting, basically, this is about happiness and wisdom and, and things like that. So this only also reinforces that this alliance that you have with this person, that it will only get better, okay? This card is about happiness and love. And this card is about a partnership. So there is going to be, in the future, a partnership for you. Now, the Ace of Rods is interesting because um, this, again, is a very powerful card. Um, all these cards that you have for the future are kind of that way. Um, that, that's what I'm getting from that. And the Ace of Rods really isn't any different, okay? Um, as you can probably see... It is one flower at the top of a rod, okay? Uh, there's some sunbeams going on in the background. This is a very good card. Um, it's about, kind of about birth and, and, and rebirth and things like that. So what I'm getting for me is this flower is blooming, that this love and this partnership that you will have in the future is going to bring you love and happiness, and I really believe maybe even some wealth. So it looks like overall... Um, the future is very bright, very bright. Next, we have the Six of Cups. Now, this is interesting as it pertains to the future. I'm not sure how well you can see, but there are two little children um, in the picture. And they're kind of surrounded with cups that have flowers in it, things like that. So, um, this is about, you know, happiness and enjoyment, um, reflecting on the past and things like that. So... To me, this tells me that, you know, once your future begins to unfold, you'll be able to reflect on your past and the bad things, and you've learned lessons from them. So it will definitely, overall, make your life better, okay? All right, that does conclude um, the reading for today. I would like to thank everyone for joining me, and I do hope to see you all again.